Hello, what's going on everyone? Um, today uh, we're going to experiment on the thing that my colleague has found an ish, um, in his um, ticket. So, without further ado, what's this? Why is this in? This is in five. Uh, this is in three. This is blasphemy. Should be in five as well. Okay. I wonder it didn't cost any error. So I believe three point one and five are compatible to each other. So and I D and um, name is. Uh, there should be a name and here is a string with a value value okay let's add that one to our DB context so we're not using fluent API for now and then so we have that and we're going to um, we're going to add a migration add migration add test and migration succeeded Okay, IP config, let's check. Our IP is still 4. Okay, and then update database. having errors a network related uh, thing I believe because our IP here is different and we yeah I think we'll just use this one edit connection and then put that one there instead of hey, what happened here Oh uh, yeah. Put this one instead of IP. So there you go. Um, update database. And it succeeded. And we're going to create the test controller and we're going to um, API controller uh, come on and then route will be API controller then controller here is the controller base then that one async task um, <coughs> I action result then uh, let's just use get so that we can access this from the browser but no um, we can actually use uh, post because we have swagger so we can still work in it without using any um, HTTP client um, so to um, software or app okay so then we're going to app DB context here app DB context the context and then inject the context here then use that injected context here 
and we are going to add a test here add async await await here and then let's save changes async and here we're going to say test equals new test okay and then I oh no name now we have to use the core and then the name is JBX I know JBX and then the value here will be like this okay and then add test here and then it's save and then so let's see what is the issue on his so he was saying that he just passed a string a time zone string so dz is equals to like that and he assigned it to test that value let's go to tz and return test so he was saying that the value here is transformed into um, into this and let's see what happens okay so I should have um, we can use unit test also to check that Okay, so we're going to check this and and boom, yep, it, all right, yep, it's not happening here. Okay, let's put the breakpoint here, put the breakpoint there, and spam this one. So this one that one and then after that so this one so yeah it's not happening in mine so yeah I don't know what's going on in his computer but we'll investigate more okay thanks bye